Imagine a world without the internet. No Google searches to answer your burning questions. No social media to connect with friends and family. No streaming services to binge watch your favorite shows. It's a strange and unsettling thought, isn't it? The internet has become so deeply ingrained in our lives that it's hard to imagine a world without it. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, we're constantly interacting with the internet. We use it to communicate, to learn, to work, to play, and to stay connected with the world around us. It has revolutionized the way we live, work, and interact with each other. But have you ever stopped to wonder who controls this vast and powerful network? Who has the power to turn it on and off at will? The internet is not controlled by a single entity. It's a complex network of networks made up of millions of computers and servers all over the world. But there are a few key players who have a significant amount of control over how the internet operates. These are the people who hold the keys to the internet's on-off switch. In this essay, we'll delve into the fascinating world of the internet and explore the intricate workings of this digital marvel. We'll uncover the identities of the seven mysterious figures who have the power to shut down the internet and examine the potential consequences of such an event. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a journey into the heart of the digital age. Before we can understand who controls the internet, we need to understand what the internet actually is. Put simply, the internet is a global network of interconnected computers. It's like a giant postal system where computers can send and receive information to each other. This information is broken down into small packets of data, which are then routed across the network from source to destination. The internet has its roots in the 1960s. The US Department of Defense developed it as a way to connect computers at different research institutions. This early version of the internet was known as ARPANET. Over time, ARPANET grew and evolved, eventually becoming the internet we know and love today. One of the key features of the internet is its decentralized nature. There is no single point of failure. If one part of the network goes down, the rest of the internet can continue to function. This makes the internet incredibly resilient and difficult to shut down. However, there are still a few points of vulnerability. These vulnerabilities lie in the hands of a select few organizations and individuals. They control critical infrastructure, such as the root servers that direct traffic on the internet. These individuals and organizations are the ones with their fingers on the internet's off switch. They have the power to disconnect entire countries or even bring the entire internet to a grinding halt. To navigate the world of the internet and its potential gatekeepers, we need to familiarize ourselves with some key terms. These are the building blocks of our understanding, the Rosetta Stone to deciphering the digital language. First, IP address. Think of it as a home address for your computer. It's a unique numerical identifier that allows your device to communicate with others on the internet. Next, we have DNS, the domain name system. Remember those easy to remember website names like google.com question mark DNS translates those into IP addresses acting like a phone book for the internet. Then there's routing. Just like a GPS guides you through traffic, routing protocols determine the optimal path for data to travel across the internet. Internet exchange points, IXPs, are like bustling intersections where different internet service providers, ISPs, connect and exchange traffic. Now let's talk about root servers. These are the master directories of the internet, holding the information that connects domain names to IP addresses. They are the unsung heroes, ensuring smooth navigation across the digital landscape. And finally, we have ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. This non-profit organization plays a crucial role in managing the Internet's address system, ensuring its stability and security. Understanding these terms will equip us to grasp the complexities of Internet governance and the potential power wielded by those who control its critical infrastructure. Now let's meet the seven individuals who, hypothetically, could shut down the Internet. First, we have the CEOs of major tech giants like Google, Amazon, and Facebook. These companies control vast data centers and network infrastructure that are essential to the Internet's functioning. Second, the heads of ICANN and the Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF, 
wield significant influence over the Internet's technical standards and governance. Their decisions shape the way the Internet operates and evolves. Next, we have the leaders of countries with strong Internet censorship regimes, such as China and Iran. These governments have the power to restrict Internet access within their borders and even disrupt international Internet traffic. Fourth, the directors of intelligence agencies like the NSA and GCHQ have access to sophisticated surveillance tools and could potentially disrupt internet traffic on a massive scale. Fifth, the CEOs of major telecommunications companies play a critical role in providing internet access to billions of people worldwide. They could theoretically shut down internet service to large portions of the population. Sixth, we have the mysterious hackers and cybercriminals who operate in the shadows of the Internet. These individuals have the technical expertise to launch large-scale cyber attacks that could disrupt Internet services. Lastly, we have the developers of critical Internet infrastructure software, such as the Linux operating system. These individuals have a deep understanding of the Internet's inner workings and could potentially introduce vulnerabilities that could be exploited to shut down the Internet. Imagine waking up one morning to a deafening silence. Your phone is lifeless. Your computer screen stares back blankly. The internet, the lifeblood of the modern world, has vanished. Panic sets in. The news spreads like wildfire. Only there's no internet to spread it on. People gather in the streets, their faces etched with a mixture of confusion and fear. The initial impact is swift and brutal. Financial markets plunge into chaos as trading platforms go dark. Businesses grind to a halt, unable to process transactions or communicate with customers. Hospitals struggle to access patient records and coordinate care. Airplanes are grounded, trains halted, and traffic lights go haywire as communication systems fail. The world as we know it grinds to a standstill. The conveniences we take for granted online banking, social media, streaming services disappear in an instant. The silence is deafening, the absence is overwhelming. The internet, once a source of endless information and entertainment, is now a void, a black hole in our digital lives. The world holds its breath, collectively wondering if this is the new normal. The day the internet died, the world realized just how deeply reliant it had become on this invisible network. The consequences are immediate and far-reaching, touching every aspect of our lives. As days turn into weeks, the true extent of the Internet's absence becomes horrifyingly clear. The global economy, intricately woven together by the digital threads of the Internet, unravels. Supply chains collapse. Businesses crumble. Unemployment skyrockets. The flow of information, once instantaneous and constant, dries up. News travels slowly, often inaccurate and unreliable. Rumors and misinformation spread like wildfire, fueling fear and uncertainty. The social fabric of society begins to fray. Without social media platforms to connect with friends and family, people feel isolated and alone. Loneliness and depression become rampant. The education system, heavily reliant on online resources and remote learning, struggles to adapt. Students fall behind, their learning disrupted by the lack of access to information and educational tools. The long-term consequences are dire. The world, once interconnected and fast-paced, slows to a crawl. Innovation stagnates. Progress slows to a snail's pace. The digital age, once brimming with promise and potential, grinds to a halt. The Internet's disappearance is a stark reminder of our dependence on this invisible network. It's a wake-up call, urging us to reconsider our relationship with technology and to find ways to build a more resilient and sustainable future. The Internet's off switch, though seemingly a nebulous concept, represents a potent symbol of our digital dependence. While the likelihood of a complete Internet shutdown remains slim, the potential consequences are too grave to ignore. The seven hypothetical gatekeepers serve as a reminder of the concentrated power that exists within the digital realm. The thought experiment of an Internetless world compels us to confront our reliance on this technology. It underscores the need for greater digital literacy, ethical considerations in technological advancements, and a balanced approach to our online and offline lives. The internet, like any powerful tool, can be both a force for good and a source of vulnerability. It's our responsibility to navigate this digital landscape thoughtfully, 
promoting accessibility, security, and responsible use. As we hurtle further into the digital age, let us strive for a future where the internet empowers, connects, and enlightens, rather than controls, isolates, and disconnects us. The future of the internet, and indeed our own, hinges on the choices we make today.